Are you hiding in your closet? All right. <laughs> Sorry, I was like getting a movie on for my kids real quick because my husband left today and I'm like, ah, they're crazy. So. I do that too. And guess what? I have this one up and someone is walking down the steps in his Pikachu pajamas already. Yeah. They're like, they, we have a 3D movie and apparently we don't have a 3D Blu-ray player. So they're like having meltdowns up there. So I don't know if you saw me like gesturing and shouting things with my hands while I was muted, but that's what was going on. <laughs> We don't have a Blu-ray 3D player. Just sit down and watch the movie. Yeah. How clean is the dog pooped in one of the rooms? My goodness. Nice. See it later. <laughs> it's like one of those days. Totally. All right, Ashley, do you want to start? Do you want me to start? How um. Yeah, I can. Um. Uh. Okay. Let me just get everything. Hold. We're like off today. <laughs> I know. I yeah, I was looking at your message. I'm like, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's the last one. I mean, it's it's all right. First off, so with our goals of the new coach training, getting success club for the first time, getting your first coach discount coach or two, just enough going emerald is another goal that we have for you guys, but. It's also just getting to know the basics of this whole company, getting to know really more in depth about Shakeology and how to present it to people because it's our number one product. It's really, really easy to share, but really easy not to share because sometimes it's scary when you know someone has to purchase something. Um, so when you get good at talking about Shakeology and when you become passionate about the product it's itself, it's a lot easier to share. So how have you guys done with all of those things? Do you feel like you're getting, getting a hang of it? Is it getting easier since you started? Um, do you feel a little bit more confident now that you've gone through this, this Coach Basics training? Good. Awesome. So, I mean, that's, that's a huge goal that we have for you is just to really get down the basics so you can continue hitting success club every month. So like every month, Ashley and I set goals for ourselves. Now, of course the goals get bigger as you build a business, but success club five is non-negotiable. Um, even success club 10 now, since we have been in the business a lot longer, it depends on where you are in the business and how fast you want to grow. Um, success club 10 is non-negotiable for us. Um, every single month, we have thought of, okay, we're going to go Emerald. We're going to go Emerald one more time. We're going to go Emerald one more time. And really people are like, okay, well, I'm signing up one or two coaches. Now what? It's just duplicating everything that you have done at the beginning. If you know how to sign up two coaches, you know how to sign up two more, you know how to sign up two more, and then you know how to help two people sign up two coaches. And that's going to help you rank advanced to diamond, which is going to be you know, a huge milestone in your journey as you continue this. Um, but really anything that we are teaching you, you're going to be hearing over and over again. Nothing we say is rocket science. Um, everything is duplicatable. Every, everything that we are saying and doing, um, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel. This has been here for as I mean, I've been in this business for five and a half years now. Almost, oh, it is five and a half years. Holy crap! Um, and almost in three years, three years, almost three years. I don't know, Ashley, three or three, almost three years. Three, you're not, I can't hear you. <laughs> four in September, four, see, four, four. Oh man, hot. hot Hot mess expressness, and I can, I'm still doing it. So, I mean, if I can do it, like, yeah, Caitlin, she's called it. She called it. <laughs> I can do it. Anyone can do it. As I'm over here shuffling, like, 47 papers with all of these names on it that I'm trying to do follow-ups tonight. So, that's just... That's oh. <laughs> what are you talking about right here? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like a million papers sitting here. <laughs> and I've got through one of them today. Wow. But, but as part of this business, we're here to show you that, like, you don't have to have it all together all the time. We're perfect examples, <laughs> but we also we also can show you that it can be done, and we do it with glass. <laughs> and I will tell you, the more organ organized you are, the 
the more organized you are, the more sane you will feel and the more accomplished you will feel because months that I'm like completely scatterbrained and I don't have it together, I feel like I'm like playing catch up the whole month. Like I'm trying to like get ahead of myself and I can't and I'm, I, I'm losing my footing and then I get frustrated. Um, and when I can just set, set out a plan, sit down and say like, okay, this is what I need to accomplish this month. This is how I'm going to track my people this month. This is how I'm going to approach my business this month. Um, those of you that are on my team, you saw my monthly calendar that I posted. We talked about on the call on Saturday. That's how I lay my month out nearly every single month. And that keeps me organized. And I learned that from Deidre and we learned that from Melanie. And you know, it's something that we have implemented for years over time. And it just, it makes sense. And when I have, like that very first calendar, my, you know, my monthly marketing calendar that like lays out how my month is going to go. And I know that like at the very least, if I can just, if I can plan ahead for my month, then I can, it gives me a roadmap to, to meet my goals. And then same thing with, um, every week, you know, we talked about doing your weekly scheduling, you know, calendar, Deidre posted some really good social media images on like things to post about, things to talk about. We've talked about, you know, what are 30 things that you love about your workouts, the way you're feeling, Beachbody, Shakeology, how can you turn 30 things into 30 different posts to use for the month? Of course, like a huge list of 30 is nice, but I wouldn't post that entire list all at the same time as one post. I would like you know, split those things up and share them over time. That would really overwhelm some people. Um, but, um, you know, having that, um, having that calendar out, setting your plan for the week, um, is, it really helps a lot. And, you know, I know we've talked a little bit about like, you know, your Emerald bubble where you're here and then your, your two new coaches are here. And then, um, kind of the next step is like a diamond bubble. Um, and it looks a little bit like this. And this is something that I print out every month and I do every month. And my goal is, and Deidre's got hers right there. Like that's, um, that's the goal for the month for me is to like re hit diamond. If I can sign X amount of coaches every month, if I can help two coaches get to Emerald every month, then I'm continuing to do the job that, you know, I have the, my goals, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Like I'm, it's making a plan for myself. It's hitting those goals and I'm continuing to, to set those goals every month. So I wanted to show you guys too, cause I know I posted on Friday that make quality connections thing with like 60 blanks on there. And like, everyone was like, ah, like what? That's six. That's a lot of people. And I wanted to show you, I said, I would show you mine if you show me yours, vice versa. Um, so this is where I am for the weekend. So no, it's not entirely filled out. No, like this is where I've been putting my coaching conversations. You can see how wimpy and measly that looks right now because I haven't been having coaching conversations this weekend and I can't expect to build my business if I'm not recruiting coaches, right? Um, but these are like, hey girl, challenge group type follow-ups and messages and this is for my to be mindset. Um, and the highlights are the ones that have enrolled with the challenge pack so far. So this is where I am for the weekend. So my goal is always personally five success club, five by the fifth, 10 by the 10th. So I know that I need to have usually for every 10 people I talk to one person is going to say yes. So I know that if I need, if I want to have five people enroll, that's probably 50 conversations that I need to have. Um, so working through this sheet really helps me visualize who I'm talking to and how many people I'm talking to. And a lot of these conversations came from posts that I've done this weekend or from follow-ups about to be mindset. So this isn't like me blindly going into my Facebook messenger and saying, who am I going to invite today? This is me having conversations, building relationships over time, over the last month, people that have liked and commented on my fitness posts, talking to them about their fitness journey. Um, th these three ladies are, in my new coach sneak peek group that had requested to join um, that I've been talking to about coaching. So, um, so I'm really focusing on the conversations with them about this business specifically. So sometimes those conversations take a little bit more time, especially if you are, um, if you're having conversations with them about the business and how to build a business, um, you can't expect those that to be a quick, like, Hey, here's how you sign up. And they're like, boom, okay, done. Bing. Perfect. And you, you can anticipate that sometimes these will take a little bit more time. Yeah, I wanted to have this done this weekend, but life and oh well, you know, and I've, I've met 
my first goal for the month. So I'm happy with that. Um, and I'm continuing to push and my goal is to get this filled out by Tuesday. So, um, I know Amanda, you had a quick question, um, on that sheet. Do I write what social outlet I use? So yeah, usually like, so I've got here, like, this is the to be mindset column. Um, this is challenge group or Hey girl, and then coaching. Um, and then I have a couple on here that are like ones from my like page. Um, these are all from Facebook. Um, and then I've got one Instagram name on here. Um, and to be honest, like I had goals to do a coach Insta story, like a bunch of stories together for like coaching and then another one for 2B Mindset. And I didn't even get it done this weekend. And I'm like, oh, well, like I, it's, I can't, you can't do everything. You can't fault yourself. You can't say like, oh my gosh, like I'm so behind, I'm going to fail, you know, no, because you have to do what your life allows you to do. And you have to give yourself grace and you have to say, you know what, like I'm working towards goals. And sometimes, you know, the plan is going to go haywire and life is going to happen and things are going to get in the way. And you not, you might have to change the plan, but don't change the goal, change the plan. Don't change the goal. So, um, so yeah, so I, um, and then what else did you say? Do you have a follow-up sheet? Um, yeah, no, I don't have a follow-up sheet yet. I haven't got that far, but that's usually what I do. Like I put them in my planner um, over here, separate thing, um, is I put them in my planner because I have two girls that I write at the end of May, early June that I need to follow up with this week. So if they're like, you know what, I can't do this month, but I'm definitely interested in next month. I make sure that when I flip over June 1st, they're the first names I see and they're the first ones that are going to get an invite for that month. So I, this is a TJ Maxx, like super simple little planner. And the way I do it is I literally go in and I write my conversations in like daily conversations who I talk to for like coaching. And then I write my posts for the day. I write my workouts in there. This was like $9.99 at TJ Maxx. I love this thing. So, um, and they're like on clearance now because 2018 is halfway over. Did he just spit up everywhere? <laughs> mm. Um, so, um, so that's kind of where we are with that. Um, and just kind of wanted to touch on that for, um, a minute. Now I have a bunch of to be mindset conversations that I wanted to follow up with this weekend too, especially since the promo price is going away tomorrow. But again, like guys, I was, I was out with my family all day today and we were doing like park things. And I was like, I could really take the day to stay home and work or I could continue to be a mother and live my life. And, um, and I know that I will set aside time this week for my business. I know that I will spend two to four hours tomorrow specifically doing follow-ups and work for my groups this next week. And I know that there's going to be a couple days this week that I'll be able to devote a little bit more time. And I know there's going to be some days that I'll be able to, that I'll have to devote a little bit less time. So finding that balance and finding what works for you is kind of where we move into in that next phase of our business. You know, we kind of get familiar with the process and what it takes and conversations and, and those conversations as we practice those conversations and build and learn a little bit more. Yes, they tend to get easier because we're having more of them and we're getting kind of more familiar with how we, not how to talk to people, but like how to have a conversation with somebody that doesn't scream like, hey, by the way, I want you to buy this challenge pack. It's more of a, how can I help you reach your goals? What are you doing? How can we get there? Um, and then, you know, as you're kind of using scripts and creating your own scripts, um, which I recommend, conversations that go really well, I recommend saving those into a Google Google Drive so that way you can look back at them and say, oh, this is, you know, this person that signed up, this went really well. This is something that I could, you know, use again. Um, and then kind of just use those in the future too. Hey, can I interrupt you? Go ahead. Yep. You've been talking for a really long time. <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> to say something. I've been wanting to say something for a while. First, I'm really glad that you said what you did about taking today off to be with your family. Because I think that people will respect that from all of us as mothers that we can still put family first because we never want you guys to put your business before your family. Um, 
I have done that in the past and it is not a good thing. I mean, it really bites you back in the butt. Um, you have to be willing and able to show that your family does come first. And like Ashley, she already is a success club and she is putting, like she said, she's going to be putting hours in tomorrow, just doing follow-ups and stuff. Like the thing is when you can make the sacrifice now, you're going to have that freedom long-term where you can just literally take the day off and just be with your family and not have to worry about anything. And then you can catch up the day after or the day after that. But that's part of Ashley being a hot mess, but actually managing her time and herself and being a mother very, very well. Um, so I'm glad that you said something like that. And I actually had the same thing too, as I had to take off today because <laughs> All right, so I haven't really done much at all this weekend because I'm trying to be single mom again here of three kids. And, I mean, Ashley is too. And it's hard. Like, it this is. crap is hard, especially when they don't listen. Mm -hmm. And mm. that's my youngest. No, not my youngest. That's just that he just cries. My middle child now. You know the middle child syndrome? He has it already. Um, <laughs> and then I just wanted to talk to real quick because she showed her sheet that – she posted the other day that you guys should be filling out. I do something similar, but I use the go for no sheet and no, it's not filled out, but trust me, I've talked to way, way, way more people. I have pages attached here um, that shows how many people I've been talking to and who I have signed up as highlighted. Um, so be sure that throughout the months, guys, you are keeping track somewhere of the names you're talking to, not on Facebook or not in your head in the back of your head by memory because that is the worst thing that you can do for yourselves is try to keep track in your head or on Facebook because you're gonna lose potentials. They'll end up going to somebody else if you don't keep track of them. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Sorry, I had to interrupt there. No, perfect. Um I was just gonna dive into these little questions that we had in the group. Um, I know Amanda, you had asked about what information um, on groups that are available. There are so many to begin with, um, and you're not as confident as what's available for the new product. So, um, so I will tell you um, a little bit about both. Um, so I currently, like I'm kicking off a new To Be Mindset group tomorrow just for Facebook. Now, as a coach, you can run as many or as little groups as you want. And I say as many with caution because when you're running 42 groups at once to try to appeal to everybody, it, it makes you a hot mess. It makes me a hot mess. Like it makes you completely overwhelmed. And like, you can agree, like there's, if there's like seven groups, it's like, how do I even keep track of this? So, um, so I have people that were in an 80 day obsession group that I have continued to carry over. And now I'm just kind of making that my long-term Facebook group. And now I'm adding new people to it. Like I have a girl who just signed up yesterday who is going to be starting Pio. And I put her in that group. I think you're in that group, Amanda. It's the June. I just changed it to June. I just change the cover photo every month and I just keep it rolling and I add my new people in and I send them a private um, Google Doc with this is how you get started with your on-demand and, and all of that stuff and just touch base with them and then kind of introduce them into the group. Um, so to keep an ongoing fitness group is something that I have been doing now that I love doing um, and just welcoming people in kind of behind the scenes and teaching them the basics behind the scenes um, and then adding them into the group so they have the accountability because I think that's the most important part when you have the ability to check in the accountability um, and then I have um, a similar group that is on the app that's literally just a, like a fitness, like a challenge group. Um, now, To Be Mindset is a, the group that I have on the app started back in May when To Be Mindset was released. And um, I'm continuing that a new group tomorrow for To Be Mindset people, new To Be Mindset people who had interest and haven't enrolled yet. So, um, so it's completely up to you. And I think from here on out, I'm going to be doing a both. Like here's a fitness group or here's a nutrition group. Like pick your poison, which one do you want to do? And if you want to do both, we can do both and we'll figure out what works best for you kind of thing. I think if they're doing both, um, I think it's more important to put them in the group with the to be mindset content because they're going to benefit most from 
learning that material as a group um, and then just encouraging them to share, you know, what workout did you do today? What shake did you do today? What did you, um, you know, and just keeping that going long term. Now with um, the lift four, because I know you were asking about lift four, like, so that technically doesn't launch until like, so July 11th is when we have, we can purchase access and we get these four new workouts that we can begin accessing before lift four is what they're called. And we'll have access to those before lift four workouts until July 16th. And then July 16th is when the entire program comes out for those of us who have purchased early VIP access. The entire program doesn't come out to just regular on-demand members until October. So I'm not going to be doing a lift four group until July. Um, when all of the workouts release and probably not until the end of July. Um, cause I know it's Deidre, do you have any feedback on this too? Um, I didn't think it even, I think we're able to purchase the challenge packs in July, but I don't think we can No. Okay. We can get it in June, but then we can't do anything until July. Yeah. So June, so we can purchase on Monday the 11th our sunglasses and that little binky. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Um, yeah, so on Monday is like the VIP early access comes out with those four workouts that um, anybody that purchases VIP can get. Um, for anybody that wants to do the free trial, I'm not doing anything for a group for that. Like, I'm just like, you want to try it? Here you go. Sign up, try it, tell me what you think. I'll follow up with you next Monday and see if you're ready to do the thing or if you want to wait until July. Um, so, um, so as far as that goes, um, usually like as a coach, I just say, you know, if you're running a group every month or if you're co-running a group with someone else on your team, with your coach, um, you know, then, then you're doing your job. Cause I always, we should always have something we're inviting people to. Um, we should always have a place to put somebody who enrolls, um, you know, whether they enroll, you know, last call, my group is enrollment is closing tomorrow. And then like a week from now, they're like, sorry, I'm ready to join now. What can you do with me? Then we put them in a spot, you know, or we join them into the group and just catch them up to speed or whatever. So, um, as long as you have something that you're enrolling people to, and between, our teams, like we always have some kind of a group going. So at the very least, like if you've got somebody that's, you know, mid month and they're like, I need accountability and I need it today. Like then, you know, there's plenty of options. Um, did that answer your question or did you have, okay. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions about that, about running groups or keeping groups straight or anything like that? Yes. No. Um, and then, I will touch on trainings real quick. And I think Deidre, we're going to kind of cover that together. Um, Cause we do our new coach training every month. We, every month we do a brand new coach group, just like this one. Um, we are going to be doing another one this next month. So if any of you have recruited new coaches who are interested in learning more about the business, who are ready to go through a new coach basics, um, then this is an ideal group for them. We all have our Google checklist, um, new coach, those of you that are on my team, I think Deidre, you do one too. Um, everybody has filled out a new coach checklist. So that's something that I would copy and paste and make your own, um, which you can literally just do in Google forms. You can just copy and paste all of that and, and create your own. Um, but if you have a new coach, at least, you know, send them the welcome email that we use in our team. Um, and get them familiar and get them started on a Google checklist. Um, just the very basic stuff. Have them watch that first 30 video that comes from corporate so they get familiar with the stuff that they've gotten in their email. Um, and then talk to them about the next step and when they're ready. And um, as you guys know, you know, we never are going to push you into a training and say, you have to do this. This starts tomorrow. Like you have to do this training right now. Um, of course, it's when you're ready, but we're also going to encourage you if you're wanting to do a little bit more and earn some income, and I say the same thing to you know new coaches and coaches that are recruiting coaches in our downline, if you're eager to learn a little bit more about this business, then you better get in a training because that's going to be the best way to give you the resources without like both of us having to be on the phone with each other all the time. Like, oh, let me tell you about this, or you know, oh, I have a question about this because this is kind of the best way to do it. So we all learn together, you know, and it kind of just makes the most sense. So 
Um, so I would encourage that. Um, and Dieter, do you want to talk about trainings that we're doing for this next month? So, and I haven't talked to you about this, Ashley, just because I've been going back and forth trying to figure out um, how this is going to work. So we have a few leaders in our team that wants to do this together. And one of our leaders, Regan Long, do you guys know who she is or have heard of her? But so she's an author. She's actually writing a book with Chris Downing right now. Um, but she is doing really well. She's in the top 100 of the company. I think she's at 72. Um, so very successful in a very short period of time. Um, she has created a group that's like an, a push to Emerald, but she has Emeralds completing it. Because like I said earlier, when you sign up two people and you go Emerald, you just keep doing it. So this is for people who are Emerald also, but for people who want to really kick off their business and, and have been through a coach training, a new coach training like this, she has this group and she created it's only seven days long though, Ashley. So I hope that you're okay with this, but basically she gives you exactly what you need to do. There are certain tasks every day and she promises you that if you do exactly what she says, you will hit success club and you will go Emerald. And I am telling you, her team pops more emeralds than you would believe. It is ridiculous. Um, so if you guys want to be a part of that, I think it would really benefit everybody. Um, I'm ex I, I took a peek at the assignments, but I really didn't get to look too much. Um, so we will be good. So we will be doing that. Um, and I, I, like I said, even for me, for Ashley, like, it's going to be a good push for all of us. Amanda, that's what we need to figure out. So I think tomorrow would be a little too soon. So maybe tomorrow we can just get the group ready and start getting it prepped. And then it'll start next Monday is what I'm hoping for. Does that sound good? Okay. Because it's only seven days. You guys are just getting out of this group. So mm -hmm. I think the, the important thing is what Ashley and I really want for you guys is to make sure that you are continuing in something after Coach Basics. The thing that we have noticed a lot, when coaches do a Coach Basics and then they don't get into another training after, they usually lose momentum, they get frustrated, they feel different, and they stop holding themselves accountable, they end up falling off. So we want this for you guys. We want you guys to be able to keep going and keep that momentum going. Um, yeah. Don't stop. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> and as you're continuing this journey and you really figure out what your why is, I don't know if you guys have thought of that yet, but like, how is this business so important to you? You're not going to just quit because you're not in a group. Um, <laughs> Caitlin, that wasn't promising. You were like, mm, no, I could still quit. <laughs> <laughs> but once you... I'll you find you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, like, I, like, I completely agree with Deidre because some of the hardest months I've had in this business is when I have been completely disconnected from my team and from an accountability group because... Oh, here come the mamas. Oh gosh, what's happening? <laughs> um, mama. Um, but I'm like, I'm currently in a, in this rank in the bank training. Deidre just posted about it today in the team page. And if I don't stay plugged in with a goal, then. So she's in this rank in the bank group. <laughs> and that's why she has that diamond bubble that she's keeping track of. And for you guys, like, we want you to keep track of your business, of your personally sponsored coaches. We don't want to scare you saying you should be trying to go diamond every single month, but I do the same thing. I actually do it for, this is my husband's business center for the past month. And look how many, like, he pretty much went diamond last month. I need one more emerald. And then my own business center on top of my husband's, I have that filled out. So I needed two more to get my eight coaches 
um, actually eight coaches. And then I had one half of an Emerald go last month. So if you are continuously getting in, getting plugged into something, it is going to be a huge motivator. Like even for me, I've been in this business for five and a half years now and it works like it really does. Um, so I want to dive in next to, I know Caitlin had posted in the questions, um, about wanting to learn more about how to cast your net a bit wider and attracting people that are coaches and how to not attract coaches, um, and kind of expand your market. I know girl, like, I feel like all my new Instagram followers are coaches, which is great. Um, but it doesn't help me grow my market and it doesn't help me grow my business when some, a coach on another team is you know, like, Hey, tell me a little bit more about, I'm like, Oh, you're not on my team. Not that I don't want to help people that aren't, but you know, I'm looking for people that want to run and grow with me, not, you know, want me to help them with, you know, anyway. So, um, so I know Deidre, you're really good at this. Do you want to, is this more like finding your avatar, like finding your audience? She's like, my what? <laughs> Like finding like your type of people that you're looking for. Like, no, like, can you hear me? Can I talk now? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay. No, I think I just, I want to be able to pull in people who aren't coaches. The only people, the new followers that I'm getting are all coaches. And I know that my market is teachers and moms and people with thyroid disease. Like I know who I can connect with, but I'm, only connecting with coaches, which isn't going to help. <laughs> are you finding them or are they finding you? They're finding me. Hmm. Are, are you doing hmm. this on Instagram? Yeah. I mean, you're going to have a lot of coaches finding you because people are going okay. to want to follow you because if they look at a, if they search a hashtag and they see you and your profile looks good, they're going to follow you. That's not a bad thing because you need followers. Just don't follow them back. Okay. I don't I follow any coach back unless I know them and I'm working with them. Um, yeah, well, see, the thing is, it you really have to be careful with the hashtags. So even for me, like, I'm doing a lot of postpartum, and there are so many coaches using the same postpartum hashtags. It's ridiculous. I'm like, seriously right now? Um, so, yeah, you just have to be careful and get creative with your hashtags. Um, sometimes it takes a little extra searching to do to find them. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, that is my suggestion. Still use them because they are helpful. And yes, there are a lot of teachers who use those hashtags. Um, the thyroid too. Yeah. <laughs> so just, just for their personal trainers. Do you know how many personal trainers would benefit being a coach though? Do not discredit the personal trainers because I have had personal trainers that have been very successful in this business. Um, and there are, six, there are successful coaches right now that are personal trainers, and that's how they started. Um, Christine Dwyer, for example, she's crazy successful with this business. She's been in it for, what, over nine years, ten years? Um, and she, she's a personal trainer. So, yeah, there are many. I would, I always tell people like, if they're a personal trainer, this not only gives them the ability to help the people in their community, but also outside. But what about the people that they're training only two and three times a week? What are they doing for their customers when they're not at the gym? Like they could be giving them a beach body workout if they can't get to the gym every day. They could be helping them with nutrition and giving them Shakeology to use because that's one meal a day that can help them. Hi. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just keep doing, keep doing your hashtags, um, keep doing your stories and I'm going to post a video that I found who, what is her name? Something star. She is a network marketer. Um, she does different videos on educating people about their avatar and audience and just looking for quality people. It's really, really good. Why can I not think of her first name? It's bothering me right now. But anyways, I'm going to post that in the, I'm actually going to post it in Forever Fit tomorrow. Um, 
but it would really benefit you guys to hear that because it's about finding your audience and just building your social media network. So I will find that and post it. Um, Ashley, do you have any other tips about, I mean, she's saying that she's getting a lot of coaches finding her. I mean, that's just how, unfortunately, how it works. I mean, Beach Ball, there's, what, 450-something thousand coaches in the network. So you're going to come across them. And you're, you, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Ashley, we can't hear you. <laughs> um, that's the theme of tonight's call for me, by the way, hot mess. Um, but yeah, if you're getting a lot of coaches following you, that's a compliment. That's a good thing because it means you're doing something right and people like to see your stuff. So, and that means that your stuff is popping up in a lot of feeds. So people are like, Ooh, who's this chick? I'm going to follow her. Like, Oh, she's doing beach body stuff. Like I'm going to, um, so, um, so for me, I, well, I, I hired an Instagram guy to help me grow my account. Um, I ran into a couple issues with him, so I let him go recently. Um, and now I'm just doing my own thing for right now until I figure out what I want to do. Um, but that's the same, same guy I was using. Yeah. What happened? Um, he was unfollowing like everybody that I know, like I, multiple times I'd asked him like he, and I, like, I would have to go back and follow Like he was unfollowing my husband multiple times. And like, I'm like, dude, like I gave him a list and it was, and then it's embarrassing because I have to go back and follow people and then like send them a message. That's like, I'm sorry. Like I'm not trying to unfollow you, you know, and some of them are my coaches and some of them are like good friends of mine. And I'm like, that just looks really, really bad. And like, so we had some issues and I had to let him go for, I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do next. And that's, that's a June goal. But, um, but right now for me, what I'm doing and what I've always done is I post consistently on Instagram, not like 15 times a day. I used to post three times a day religiously, morning, noon, and night. Um, those were my posts. And now I'm focusing more on my stories and using location in my stories, using hashtags in my stories. Um, and like I'm in St. Louis, so I'll do like hashtag STL or hashtag St. Louis in my stories. And what's really cool about what you can do in your stories is you can do those hashtags and then you can shrink them down teeny tiny where nobody sees them and put like 10 of them in there. You know, like if you've got a white space in your background, you can put a bunch of hashtags in there. So then they pop up. Um, so I put hashtags in my stories. Um, I, whenever I like, if there's a product or something that I use, like, a hair product or whatever, you know, I do hashtag whatever that is, or I, you know, link that product or whatever. Um, so just little things like that. And then I go in and, and I look for people that have similar interests like that. Like I look for people that use the same dry shampoo as me. I look for people that use the same, you know, like that shop at similar places that I do. Um, like if I'm wearing my glasses and I do Kate Spade, cause these are Kate Spade glasses. I look for Kate Spade people that, you know, people that also do like just little branding type stuff, um, that you wouldn't normally think about. I have a website and a blog and I blog and I do mom blogger, mommy blogger a lot and different variations of that. And then what's cool is when you search certain hashtags, it can give you more, um, hashtags to search. So like, Say I'm gonna search like tags, like I'm gonna do um, competition prep. So that's one that I just recently used. And then up here, it gives you a whole bunch of other related hashtags that are like not as popular. So like NPC bikini competitor, seven weeks out, improvement season, um, figure athlete, like those are all other little hashtags that you can search. So like I'll search, you know, mom of three is a really popular one. Oh, it didn't give me any other one. So like mommy blogger, um, and then it gives me like mommyhood, mom of a girl, um, blogger, mama, life with baby, mama life. So like just different hashtags that you can search that aren't like traditional, like hashtag mom life, hashtag fit mom. Um, cause I feel like anybody that 
is a newer coach that's learning how to use hashtags. Those are what we typically default to, right? Fit mom, fit mom, you know, mom on a fitness, you know, fitness journey or weight loss journey or whatever. Um, so if you can expand that search a little bit more and, and sometimes you'll find certain people that are like new to like their own fitness journey and look at what hashtags they're using, you know, because they are not a coach. They are not, using Beachbody stuff, what hashtags are they using? And then go in and search those, you know, like hashtag, I didn't eat carbs today, you know, or I don't, I'm like, I don't know, but you know, you can go click on stuff like that. And maybe you find like 25 people that are like, Oh, this is totally my market, you know? Um, so not just the fitness stuff, but like lifestyle stuff too. And I connect most with people over something that we have in common, you know, as opposed to like, hey, I'm a chick that needs help on a fitness journey. Like, oh my gosh, we mesh well because we love wine and coffee and, you know, mom life stuff and Hot Mess Express. And like, I could go into Hot Mess Express and probably find 30 people tonight that I need to message this week. So uh, that's like, I'm going to write that in my planner and that'll be my goal for the week is find, find some more hot messes um, to get along well with. So all kinds of things you can search. Um, and then as far as, um, like that's for Instagram, but as far as Facebook goes, and I don't know, Caitlin, I know you're a teacher, so I don't know if you're public or private. Um, no, you're not, you're not public. Okay. Um, so if that's something that you decide to do, I know you use your fitness page, um, too, but if you do go into a public account, you can always go in and you can add, well, you can still go in and add people they just won't be able to see your stuff and you can add you know miscellaneous friends and stuff like that but um, if you primarily want to grow your business through Instagram then I would say like do those things apply those things um, there are some really good Instagram trainings that um, that we've done through the dream team in some of the recorded calls if you go into the dream team um, and if if you get to a point where you want to look at investing in growing your Instagram, then that's something that we can talk about. It's not a requirement by any means, but if you say, you know what, maybe I want to put 15 bucks a month aside to like trying to grow some Instagram followers. Um, Sarah on our team, Sarah Jacobson, um, has recently been in investing, I think 20 bucks a month in Instagram and has grown her like a thousand followers, um, using social stim or stim social. Um, and you can pick your own plan and you can pick your own kind of stuff that you want to search for. So if that's something that you decide that you want to do, um, we can talk a little bit more about that, um, and how that works, but organically you can do it just through hashtags and finding more people. And sometimes I go in and I'll follow like a hundred people in one day from a similar hashtag and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll search and right now, and then you can follow hashtags too. So like I follow the hashtag purple hair don't care. And I look for whenever those pop up, I look and see, okay, A, is this a coach? A, is this, or B, is this somebody I'm going to connect with? A, B, whatever. Um, and <laughs> hot mess tonight, guys. But that's kind of who, um, kind of how I continue to grow mine and, and what I look for. And same thing, like I'll follow the mommy blogger hashtag and look for other moms that have blogs that, you know, are not, that don't have 50,000 followers and already look like they're doing something, um, fitnessy or whatever. So, but even then, like, I mean, Caitlin, you are a perfect example. Like you could find somebody that is using beach body stuff for years and has never been a coach. And, um, and I've found a lot of people that have done that too, you know, that have been a fan of beach body and, um, and, have never really thought about diving into coaching. Um, so that's something too, that I always ask people and I always double check. And, and sometimes when you assume, like we all know what happens when you assume and, um, and assuming that somebody is a coach just because they're posting their workout. I just found a girl this past week who we've been following each other. And I just, I've assumed that she's a coach the whole time because she's been posting her 80 day obsession progress pics. And she just finished 80 day obsession and I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, like, when's your next group starting? And she's like, I'm not a coach. And she lives in St. Louis. And I'm like, okay, like, game over. Why did I ask you this, like, 40 days ago? So um, she's on vacation now. So she's my, she's my one I'm going to work on for this month and see. 
if that's something she wants to do or not. But um, Amanda, um, three dollars. Oh, I'm oh promoting your posts. Um, so promoting like through your Facebook like page. Um, I would not recommend promoting a post because it really doesn't do anything to help you grow your page. It just puts your post in front of a lot more eyes and it doesn't really give them a call to action. Um, and Facebook is really tricky about what you can and can't run ads for. So like if you're going to run an ad, um, that's completely different than just boosting a post um, or like promoting a post on Instagram um, because it just, it just puts your post in front of a lot more people, but it doesn't necessarily give them any action to take. So, um, so whenever I do Facebook ads, I go through the ad manager and I run a specific ad where I'm using a target audience and a target market. That's like, I feel like this is like a month down the road training. Like I don't want to dive into it right now because it can get very, very confusing. But, um, but that's something too, like if you guys want to know a little bit more about that stuff, we can definitely point you in the right direction for, um, oh yeah. Okay. Lauren. Yeah. So, um, and I think the credits are not usually for running like an ad. I think the credits are usually for boosting a post. I might, is that right, Deidre? Do you know? Um, so I don't usually do what you just said again, what sometimes they'll give you a credit, like your post is performing really well. Would you like to boost this post for $10 or whatever? Um, I never paid attention to what those are, but I don't, I've always been told not to boost posts. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do one, you create a whole ad mm -hmm. and you create an ad set. Um, yeah. and then that like. The thing that's hard with those is the algorithms are constantly changing. Mm -hmm. So unless you are really up to date on everything with how Facebook is working, you could easily lose a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. I, I had an ad going, had no idea what I was doing. Oh, I've lost so much money. But like just one in particular, I let it go, had no idea what I was doing. I had a, it was like $600 taken out of my account. I never got anyone from it at all and I just totally messed it up and lost a lot of money so yeah honest. so that's like and it's such a it's such a tough like thing to dive into because once I feel like I get it it changes and then I'm like I have to relearn this whole algorithm stuff so um so I think you know I know that running ads for videos usually works. If you do a workout video and you run an ad, that usually works as long as it's clear and clean and crisp and you can see, you know, and it's not like a sloppy, messy kind of video. Um, but as far as Instagram ads go, I haven't done anything really like that yet um, unless it carries over from Facebook and it's something. I actually just did one this weekend and now hiring one this weekend and I've got a ton of likes on it a ton and only one person left their email and I spent like 15 bucks just to see if it would do anything. I mean, I'm going to write it off, but I was hoping that I would get a lot more traction than what I did. And I wanted to just let it ride this weekend to see what was going on. So kind of a test ad, but yeah, didn't do what I wanted it to do. So, um, what else do we want to dive into? Do you guys have, I, let's see what I, mean, I think. Do we have some questions? Today. What? I think that's a lot for today. It is a lot for today. Um, Lauren, I know you had asked about the best way to promote new programs that we haven't tried le yet, like the Lift for. Um, so I don't think Megan tried it out yet. She's not in the test group. She had asked, how did Megan Blinka get to try it out yet? I don't think she yeah. is in the test group, right? Yes. Um, so everybody gets a free sneak peek of it tomorrow um, on demand. So you just log in. Um, and like literally anybody can, as long as they just go to like Beachbody or on demand or whatever, they can try the workout. Uh, so that'll be for all of us tomorrow. So um, the best way to promote that is like what I usually do, and I'm just gonna copy the link because I have it right here, is I go into these like Beachbody product toolkits and like the blog stuff, and I just pull information from here and create a Google Doc, and I'll make an image. Um, and I'll just talk about it and I'll say, you know, if you want more information, then I'll send them a Google doc link with the information. And, um, 
I think there's a float, an image floating around with pricing um, that somebody had posted in the Dream Team page. If not, I plan on making one this week with pricing information just so that I have that to roll out. What I usually do is send out an email to my customer list and let them know what's up and coming. Um, and I go back to people that I've talked to in the past um, and then talk to them about it. As far as promoting a new program though, like the best thing we can really do is like create an interest group or create a, like an info group on Facebook um, and have some kind of a, like an info sheet or, you know, document or something like a Google doc to send to people that want a little bit more information um, or just add them into that informational group. And in that info group, you know, post some transformations, post, uh, like transformations are huge. And when people see transformations, I mean, it, holy cow, 80 day obsession. Like that was one that like the transformations did it for so many people. Cause they're like, boom, I can do this in three months. Like this is amazing. And, um, so I think, you know, sharing that stuff outside of an info group and then creating a photo album inside of an info group. And you can also create those photo albums on your Facebook page too. So you can like create a photo album for lift for transformations and add, you know, five or six transformations in there or whatever. And what's nice about when you add another transformation picture to that album, it will pop up again in your newsfeed. So um, that's kind of another way to give yourself secondary traction from stuff like that as well. Um, the info group, I've done it for several of my groups. Those of you guys that have done the um, To Be Mindset group, like Caitlin and I are running a pretty solid one right now with a lot of interest in and just adding people in. And whenever you do your post, say, if you want more information about it, click the link to join my info group below and people click it. And then you, you can put questions in there. So they'll have to answer, you know, they don't have to, you don't have to make them required to answer, but they'll answer, you know, why are you interested in this group? What's your current fitness level? Like, are you working with the coach? Um, and those are just some good questions to plug in there. Um, but that's, you know, that's, that's usually what I do. I just try to create interest. I talk it up. I share transformations. I show people what's possible. Um, and I go back and, and private message and I just get people excited and, um, and doing an, like doing a private launch group or exclusive test group or a VIP launch, you know, stuff like that, that really, allows people to be like, dude, like this is kind of a big deal. I should probably get in on this. It's, it's true, you know, because there's that fear of missing out that we all have that like, well, if I don't do this now, like I'm not going to be in shape for summer. I better hurry up and join. So, um, so yeah, so creating that like excitement and that interest, um, kind of about anything, um, is really, um, kind of just the best way to go about doing it. I think, um, do we cover everything? And then some? <laughs> hey, so for tomorrow, for the lift four, I'm just trying to figure out exactly what time it's going to be available. And in the round table, it's five star and above group. They're trying to figure out what time, but Joel said 10 a.m. What's PST? Pacific? Pacific. Mm -hmm. So what time is that for stamp? For 12, 12 o'clock Central and 1 o'clock Eastern. That's dumb. Yeah, I know. So that's what he is saying. But I will try to keep you guys updated as soon as they confirm it. But Joel said at 10. So I know they're hoping for it to be in the morning. Yeah, yeah I, was hoping, that, so. I was hoping for that too. Um, hey, I saw your post tonight. Who, me? Yeah. Oh. oh. Thank you. Did it get you anything? Because it didn't no. do much for me. No. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Well, I realized that I did my, like, I'm looking for 20 women who want to lose 10 to 30 pounds. I did that post yesterday. Drop your email for details. And I used, like, the rainbow flag background because it's, like, pride weekend. I didn't even realize it. Like, I'm like, ooh, this is pretty. And then last night at 11, my husband's like, do you know? And I'm like, oh man, I'm like, I look like a jerk. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Is it really? Wonder yeah. if that's why my pastor had the sermon that he did today, because it was talking about that. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, people are like, what is this chick over here posting? Like, who's she trying to attract? Like, trying to use a rainbow flag background. 
<laughs> and I'm just like over here like, oh, rainbows and unicorns. It's beautiful. Like not even thinking about it. Yeah. I like rainbows. You to palm trees at 11 o'clock last night. <laughs> All right, guys. So just let us know. We will be posting tomorrow, tomorrow morning about the next training. Um, we will obviously contact you guys too, just to make sure we can get you in if you guys want to do that. Um, so we will be continuing this journey. Don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. So I will do... I will do a post um, tonight. Tonight, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say tomorrow because I'm I got kids and play um, about this month and goals for the month because it's important this early on in the month that we set some goals for the month. Um, ah, we were gonna talk about goal setting tonight too. We'll get to that. Deidre, live. maybe we'll do a live video about that tomorrow in the group. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. That was really weird. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Set I can do a video about goal setting. Like, why don't you guys just hit success club and go Emerald again? <laughs> <laughs> or for the first time, if you haven't yet. Um, so that's my goal for like, you guys. You should have like it. Setting, setting realistic goals, like short term and long term and like how to, you know, how to set goals to make sense for your business and stuff like that. Um, but I'll tell we'll you, that. I'll tell you every month, if you're hitting success club, that's an awesome goal to have because you're going to see growth. In your we just, <laughs> I'm making a mandy on. We should go to bed now. I'm really tired. Let's take a, selfie. <laughs> let's take a, not a selfie. All right. Okay. So. All right. Everybody say cheese. No, hold on. Deidre, you want your phone in there? <laughs> How are you going to take it? I already took it. You just oh. got your phone all up in there. Huh? <laughs> I look really weird. I look like a man. No, you don't. You have boobs, lady. You don't look like a man. I look like a man with boobs. I look like a man who had some extra surgery to get this boobs. Is, this is just going south, so we'll just wrap this up. <laughs> Oh, we're recording. Sorry. Yeah, let's just. I'm stop. trying to take a picture, but I want to look decent. Hold on. <laughs>